A key concern with blockchains that must be carefully considered with regards to health data is simply what exactly should exist on the blockchain itself, not only for reasons of confidentiality, but also for efficient management of the blockchain itself. The key innovation of blockchain is that it is decentralized, meaning that any node, uh, computer, or other accessing device can download the entire blockchain from its inception. Therefore, blockchains must be small and lightweight, and thus not an ideal place to store large health data like uh, MRI images or genetic sequence data. To give one example, just to represent my full genome data in a standard format would require more storage space than the entire Bitcoin blockchain created over the past nine years. Furthermore, if this data was on the blockchain itself, any change made to this genetic sequence data would require transactions on the blockchain. Whereas if the blockchain only contained a reference to this data stored securely somewhere else, such transactions would not be required. So a strategy here is pairing the blockchain with, for example, a cooperative storage cloud approach to house the health data, segmented and decentralized. This, however, can complicate compliance with privacy regulations like HIPAA. With the decentralized storage of personal health data, segmented though it may be, allowing more opportunities for this health data to be accessed and potentially re-identified. For reasons like this, more traditional cloud storage solutions like AWS still have their place in terms of managing health data. So using a mixed approach, uh, encrypted patient data stored on HIPAA compliance services like AWS and appropriate access to this data being managed via blockchain can be a successful strategy in managing personal health information while also obtaining the numerous benefits of modern decentralized blockchain technology.